morning, everyone. I believe we're live, so got a little phone action going on right now. So, well, good morning. We are still this morning going to be in chapter 10 of Mark. Pick it up at verse 35, go all the way to verse 32 today. Hopefully you all had a good night's sleep. Although with this rain, the way it's pouring with a little bit of lightning, it's uh, it's one of those mornings you wish you could just stay in bed, right? <laughs> um, oh, well. And I, I titled this one to know your place is what uh, I, I think we've got this sermon coming up this Sunday on this particular text area. Uh, it's it's a, got a couple of a good ones, especially when you couch it between the, the different um, texts we've been reading about here in, in Mark chapter 10 anyway. So uh, let's get going. So again, uh, we're beginning at Mark 10 verse uh, 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came up to him and said to him, Teacher, uh, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. And he said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or to be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? And they said to him, we are able. And Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left hand is not mine to grant, but it is for those who for whom it has been prepared. And when the ten heard it, they became indignant at James and John. And Jesus called them to him and said to them, you know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whatever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And they came to Jericho as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd. Barta Bart Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, take heart, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Rabbi, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him on the way. So again, we got a lot going on here in this text. Um, you know, we we've got uh, James and John, uh, as recorded earlier, uh, wanting uh, places at Jesus' right hand and at his left hand. James and John, the son of Zebedee, um, and and Jesus kind of saying, "Well, you really don't know what you're asking." Um, I've always taken that to be. Uh, the two thieves that were on the cross, because, of course, this is when Jesus comes into his glory is when he dies on the cross for you and I um, on that Good Friday. So, um, again, you know, they're not really asking. They're, they're really not wanting to be on a cross with Jesus, if, to, to be honest. Right. Um, but they really don't quite see what this is, what this looks like yet, you know, at all. Um, yet you have a blind guy on the side of the road who. Here's that Jesus of Nazareth is coming, and and how does he address him? Uh, son of David. <laughs> so, you know, when when he's calling him son of David, that's that's got messianic uh, implications, savior uh, implications um, galore. So, uh, again, you know, here you have a guy that can't see, but sees pretty clearly that uh, that that the one that he needs is is Jesus, his savior. Um, so again, you know, you have a lot going on in this in this particular text, um, you know, and, and in this close proximity 
uh, of what we've been, you know, following, you know. So, um, again, it, you know, I mean, what does what does this mean? What does this take heart? You know, know your place. Um, as we think about our station in life, um, you know, God calls all, each and every one of us to a different place in life. So not all of us are pastors. Not all of us are, you know, mathematicians. Not all of us are, um, uh, you you know, you name it. You put your, your station in place. Uh, not all of us are grandparents, right? Some of us are uh, parents. Some of us are not. And uh, in, in any way, in each of these stations in life, um, God has us right where he wants us. He also equips us um, to be able to live our life for him right where we're at. Uh, again, you, you know, he tells James and John, you you will drink the cup that I drink and you will be baptized with the baptism that I have been baptized with. Um, and, and of course, you know, St. Paul uh, lights that up a little bit better for us. You know, when he says, if we've been baptized into Christ's death, we have, you know, died with him and come back to life new in this resurrected Jesus Christ. So, uh, of course, we see this as James and John will both, uh, you know, go and, and serve their Lord and they will uh, be, be great uh, pro proclaimers of the gospel in the lives as they go forward um, after Jesus sends his spirit from from heaven. But, um, you know, we we uh, do the same. I mean, our, our job is still the same. Um, we, we come to seek and to save the lost. This, this is, uh, what Jesus, his journey was all about. Um, he came to give his life as a ransom for many. Um, and that should be our plight too. Uh, we should be here, uh, to serve others, not to be served. Um, we should be here to glorify God's name through our service. Um, not here to glorify ourselves. Um, so again, that there's, a uh, a, a lot going on in this particular text, um, a lot to be seen. Uh, and, and of course, the, you know, the disciples are a little bit angry at, at them for asking these types of questions. But, um, you, you know, I don't know that they're, I don't know that the rest of them weren't thinking the same thing too, right? That that some kind of figured that there would be higher people in the <laughs> in the realm that, that was to come. And, um, you know, Jesus is just trying to make sure that, that we're getting this straight, that that's not what his kingdom is all about. So he gave his life as a ransom for many. Uh, that includes you and me. Uh, and we give thanks for that. And to follow our Lord means uh, that we're serving in that same manner, uh, that we, we do not count ourselves more valuable than others um, and that we're here to serve. So let's uh, let's pray with uh, uh for, for God to strengthen us for that plight today. So, so Lord God, Heavenly Father, again, we just give you thanks that you have made us your child in Christ Jesus. Um, help us to see his glory is, is the point when he goes to the cross uh, to, to because he was obedient to your will. And so, Lord, help us to be obedient to your will for our lives, too, um, in seeking uh, and seeking your ways, seeking your truth and following after your truth and to serve others. So, Lord, pray that you would just again bless uh, this day. Um, give us the strength that we need to be a witness to you. Um, help us to be able to share that hope uh, that we have in you if the opportunity uh, presents itself and that you would do your work uh, through us. So it's for the sake of Jesus we ask it. Amen. All right, everybody. Hope you have a great day. Um, again, it's a little gloomy start, so we're starting out darker and then even darker with uh, the rain clouds. But um, uh, everybody be safe today. Take care. God's blessings.